Who are we? We are the issue of an ancestry that offered a legacy. And by our deeds and our decorations, we caused this nation to pause and ponder what manner of people are these. We are the products of suffering and sacrifice with those who, like silver, must be captured in the story. We're wise and we're watchful as we weigh the past against the present. We hear old concerns packaged and treated as being brand new. We hear proposals that offer, but only partially fulfilled. Thus, we are cautious. Well, I hate to say this is my brainchild, but the reason for this is uh, when I became the president, I thought of, I'm very driven by objectives, goals, vision, mandate. So the first thing I did was to bring my board into boardroom at um, Scotiabank Plaza and throw everything out as to where we are today and where we're going. Um, I was tired, sick and tired of hearing individuals say that BP is not going anywhere, status quo, and I know that being the director at that time of a huge organization, you know, Bell, and what I had to do to uh, keep my position, I thought if we apply these same principles, right, and, and, and well, seeing the kind of return that you, you get when you apply vision and plan and you can mobilize and motivate people to act, the kind of results it brings about, I said to myself, and I always had in my mind that the day I had time to invest into like the BBPA, I would want to see that change. So I was on one to take on like a presidency position because you may be asked to serve. My belief is that when you take on leadership position, I am very serious about leadership. So people may see me as, you know, arrogant or whatever, but for me, I think when we know our history as black people, and we know how talented we are. And when I sit back and I say, and I see some of those guys that are sitting around that table and what they're doing for a community. And then we look at the history and look at the pioneers, the Martin Luther King, the Malcolm X, you know I mean? When you think of all these great individuals, now the Obamas, like why can't we multiply those kind of um, energies to create these, and, and you know, and make sure that we enable our young people to occupy more of these strategic positions in our community so we can be making decisions and when we have our young people leaving school they're not leaving school with all this education no jobs because nobody has the faith and the trust in them to say I am going to allow you to, to to serve in this capacity well the luncheon is on December the 11th and the luncheon was a way of us again bringing our membership together right because when you look across the whole calendar you look at okay where should we be putting a little bit of kind of family time so family time for us would be like um, membership meetings we talk about the business of the BBPA where we're going challenges and successes and so we thought that to end the year off we if we came up with a nice kind of luncheon bring a bit together then you talk about what we have accomplished in the year and then even talk about some of the challenges that would be great and and we always try to act, um, recognize one individual within our black community so the first year we recognized um, Mr. Denim Jolly because he you know he was always persistent and always there you know supporting us in whatever way he can and then the following year we did um, um, Maestro West right and uh, you know because of again what he's doing in the, in the community sure so church dress is a fashion brand that started in January of 2009 and it's pretty much a friendship based group that had a passion for fashion but we saw a missing niche in the fashion industry which was modesty so we came up with the concept that we would create clothing and accessories for both male and females that is still fashionable, but that promotes modesty and an alternative to dressing. So mostly for the men, we do bow ties. Our huge um, sell this season are actually handmade bow ties. So they come with different holiday prints. You can get your gold, you can get your royal blues and reds, and fashion ties as well. So that's our small line for the men's now, but we're starting with that. It's been pretty positive. Uh, we knew that it was something really interesting when we got different Toronto fashion bloggers kind of talking about us. We've been invited to even different stuff in Toronto Fashion Week, which we're like, okay, you know what? We're kind of going against the grain, but then we're being accepted in the mainstream, so that's kind of where we are right now.